Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Stud Tech. And in today's episode, we are going to be finishing up the warehouse, I think. Now, you may have noticed, I have a new skin. My friend Karaksu was kind enough to hook me up, so big thanks to him. And I'll put a link to his channel in the video description. But, I have been very, very busy between episodes working on this, getting everything all organized and sorted, and I want to give you guys kind of a rundown of how everything works. So, back here, I have a Tesseract that takes all these items, basically I've got a channel in here that's just for the sorting system, and it takes those items, puts them in the chest, and sorts them around. I think we did that last episode. Now, pretty much every item in the game, there's a few exceptions, but pretty much every item has a place to go, somewhere in one of these rooms. The stuff that doesn't have anywhere to go, oh, come on, there we go. The stuff that doesn't have anywhere to go goes to one of these four general overflow chests that you see right there. I also have a chunk loader right here, which means that this warehouse, which you can see kind of the borders of, this warehouse, these chunks are always loaded, so anytime I send stuff to that Tesseract, uh, it is going to end up here and get sorted properly. I also made a little bit of a change down here. This is ore processing, and I did this because it's still in those same chunks, so this will also be loaded. Uh, and man, these shaders glitches are driving me crazy. If any of you guys know how to fix that, let me know. Um, but anyway... So when stuff gets mined by my uh, ender quarry, it will come to here and get sent through. Now there's a couple of filters down here, which will grab the ore and process the ore. Anything that isn't ore, like cobblestone or uh, diamonds, any, anything that isn't actual ore, will just go straight into the item sorting system. So that's pretty much the gist of that. And then over here... I've made a couple changes as well. Look at that. All those items, all those chests and machines and things that were sitting over here just taking up space, they are now gone. I don't need them anymore. And they were really kind of an ugly stain on the landscape. So I decided to go ahead and get rid of them. But I think we've done enough talking. We've probably done plenty of talking. So let's go ahead and kind of get to work on the warehouse here. Now, I have a few ideas for things that I want to get done. Uh, we are using primarily spruce. So let's work on that a little bit. Let's grab... Uh, I probably don't need that many spruce logs. Let's just do... Yeah, that's probably a good start. So I think back here in these corners, I'm going to put a spruce log coming up like this, kind of behind, and that's going to go actually all the way up to the ceiling level, like that, and I'm going to put that back here in these corners as well, and that will kind of hide the, uh, the back area from being seen. There, see how much better that looks? There's going to be a chest that's going to go down here, um, but that's definitely a step in the right direction. So I'm going to do that for all of the rooms. Let's see, there's one. And just these corners, as I said, just the corners. Nothing nothing fancy. Uh, this, this place is still, I mean, functionally, the warehouse is done. Everything within the warehouse works, and it functions the way that I want it to. However... It really needs some help on the aesthetic part. So let me get this little bit finished up and I will be right back. All right, guys, I am back and we've got all those pillars put in nicely, just the way we want. Now, the next step is going to be probably on the outside. We already have all those done. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a whole bunch of spruce stairs. Just a whole bunch of them. Let's make, I think like four stacks should probably be enough. Uh, let's see. Come on now. There we go. That'll probably be plenty. And then we're also going to want a whole bunch of 
spruce slabs, like so. And that should be a pretty good start. So what we're going to do with these is we're going to make kind of a little design. A lot of you said that the wall is really boring, and I know that it is. I'm fully aware of that. And I'm just, I, I'm asking you guys to trust me because, believe it or not, I do actually know a thing or two about design. There we go. So we'll get that going. And then we'll kind of bring this across like so. Right here, we're going to do kind of the same thing. And we'll do something like that. And this will help out in a couple of different ways. We're going to kind of add this feature here to the middle. Now, I might do something. I think it's going to need something in the middle there as well. But that's okay. We can, we can worry about that when the time comes. Let's go ahead and do all of these outer sections. And once again, I will be back in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back. Now, there is this wonderful hole in the ground right here, and we're going to want to do something about that. So there's actually a really, really cool door in the, uh, Mal uh, I don't know if it's Malisus or Malisus. I'm not really sure how it's pronounced, but there's a very, very cool door mod um, or a very, very cool door. Let's see right here, this rusty hatch. And it's pretty easy to make, too. So let's grab ourselves a couple of iron ingots. And we'll need one of those. And then we have, okay, like that. That should make it. Now, I'm not entirely sure how big this thing is. And it's very dark, so I suppose we should probably take a nap. And there we go. I, I'm, yeah, I'm not really sure just how big this door is. I don't know. I don't remember if it's uh, two by two or yeah. Okay, so it's a two by two door. Oh, that makes me sad. I thought it was three by three. Oh man. Will. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess for the moment, what we'll do is we'll just patch that up with some dirt. And I'll figure out how I want to do that later. Let's just patch this up for now. And I'll figure that bit out. Okay. So, I think since there is a whole lot that needs to get done, and since we haven't done one in a very long time... I think we're about due for a time lapse. So let me go ahead and get the camera account fired up, and I will see you in just a moment. If only the clock could be turned back, we might do this all again. Maybe we try some things different. Maybe we get it right. It's true, I may not be a genius I see the forest for the trees But can't you feel what is coming next That we might always disagree You're filled with questions, as for me I will tell you no lies Maybe I'm too direct, but it's better than some lame disguise. Some choices hurt, but that's the way we all learn to be wise. It's all or said everything was cool 
Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse. That was a lot of work and uh, got it nice and condensed down. So there's a couple other minor things that I want to do. And I'm thinking, first of all, we're going, we need to do stuff with the interior. We'll get to that. But I'm thinking right here, we could put maybe, did I? I thought I grabbed dark oak slabs. I guess not. Okay. Dark oak slabs. There we go. Okay. So, uh, let's get our hot bar all rearranged. There we go. So, yeah, what we're going to do is above the doorways, we'll put some dark oak slabs like that just to give it a little more, you know, maybe something like that would be even better. Yeah, I kind of like that. That'll do. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing over here on this side. So it was like this and there and like so. Oh, this one got misplaced. There we go. Looking good. So this is our warehouse. There's a lot of little, I don't know. I think it works. I think it works very well. The roof is very simple. Everything's very simple, but it gets the job done. And that's the big thing. Now, there are a few things that we need to do. Lighting in here definitely needs to get done. We are badly, badly in need of lighting. I think I also want to go ahead and extend those pillars up one more. So let's see. For lighting, I think what we'll do is we'll make a bunch of carpenter's pressure pl hmm, excuse me, carpenter's pressure plates. And uh, I'm going to grab some glowstone, which is in this room right here. We'll just grab a stack of it. And then I do need my chisel. There it is. And we'll turn that into neon glowstone. Let's switch this stuff around. There we go. So we can put these in. And this will give us some nice light in here. So let's see. How do we want to space these? Um, this little section is four wide, so maybe what we'll do is, I suppose we could go like, hmm, decisions, decisions. Maybe what we'll do is something like that. That should give us some nice light. And then in front of each of the doors... We could do the same thing, and I'll figure out something to do with that little bit in a minute. Let's see. So, like so, and one more right over here. There we go. So that's giving us some lighting. Now, these sections, this is the middle, so we can put one right there. And we can put one right there. And then this one, maybe we'll just leave that one alone. Unless we want to do, hmm, let's see how this looks. I think that works. I'm good with that. Okay, now I want the lights here to start. Did, I think I was too far away. There we go. So we'll put some lights there, and then maybe we'll put some lights right here. Is that spaced evenly? That looks like it's spaced evenly. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. And then we'll do the same over here. One, two, three, four, five. Pressure plate, like so. And then, like so. Okay, so that takes care of the lighting in the hallways. So now we can get rid of all this ugly, nasty torch spam that we don't want. There we go. Now we just need to work on the lighting in the rooms. So I think what we'll do here... It, actually, here's a thought. What if we were to put lighting on top of the pillars? How does that look? Hmm... It's not terrible, but I 
don't think that's what I'm looking for. Uh, let's see. I need a. I need something with silk touch. That'll work. Let's grab those out of there. Oh, come back. Here we go. So I think what we'll do is maybe we'll come in one from all the pillars. Let's see. Or maybe we'll come in two from all the pillars. So that would be like, here's a pillar, and then we'll go there. So we'll basically end up with a little box. And just like so. Yeah, I think that works. That'll provide adequate lighting. Okay, so let me get that done to the rest of these rooms, and I will be right back. All right, guys, I am back, and all the rooms are all nice and lit up now. So now we want to go ahead and put the pillars in, and then what we're going to do is we're going to build up the walls uh, to kind of hide some of this stuff. If, I mean, if you notice, you're standing here, you can see this grass, and we obviously don't want that. So we're going to uh, we're going to work with that a little bit to fix that up all nice and pretty. So this is good. This is good. Let's move on to this room over here, and we'll do that, and that, and that. And same thing over here. Do do. Looking good. Man, I am so glad to be back home recording videos, doing the YouTube thing. Oh, man. I had a nice long week. I was gone for some military related stuff. And uh, I was. I, I won't say that I was miserable because I certainly wasn't. I actually had a really uh, good time. It was a really good experience. But um, I was gone and I did not have access to my computer or any of that kind of stuff, and I missed it. I missed it. I was only gone a week, but it seemed like so much longer than that. Okay, so we got that done. Now, the next thing that we want to do is the walls, as I had said. So, let's switch. Where's my chisel? There it is. And we can probably hide some of this stuff. Uh, let's see. Cobblestone. Here we go. Let's just grab... That's probably more than I'm going to need. In fact, I know that's gonna, that's more than I'm going to need, but that is okay. So, let's make a few of these. Like so. And then, what's this one? The dark panel? Alright, so we'll do that. And then we'll make a bunch of these dark panel ones as well. Didn't know you could actually shift-click that until just now. That makes life easier. Ha-ha! Cool. All right. So, we got that going. So, let's see. Let's put a couple of these in our hotbar like that. And actually, let's do this. There we go. Okay. So, what we'll do is I want to kind of build this up and around. Mm, I don't know that I like that, though. Because what I was thinking was we'd end up with something like this. But I'm looking at that now, and I don't know that I care for that a whole lot. I might like it better. In fact, I think I would like it better if it just came back like that. And then back here... We'll take these across like this. There we go. And that will go down there. And then back here, we would do kind of that same thing. This is just kind of kind of covering up the pipes and all that kind of stuff. Um, ultimately, there will eventually be chests right in here. So, you know, this will be kind of covered up and all that good stuff. But right now, um, I think this is probably the way to go. Although, I mean, I suppose we could... Let's just see how this looks. If we do that instead. I mean, that covers up the spruce, which I don't necessarily like. But it does make everything... Hmm. 
Hmm, decisions. I don't know. What do we think of this? Do I like that better? Then we went to all the trouble of the spruce for nothing, but... I'm trying to decide if I like this better, or if I like this better. I think I like it a little bit better, even though it covers up the spruce. I think I prefer that. And you can still kind of see the spruce behind some of this stuff a little bit. But I think overall, this is the better choice. I think it just looks a little bit better. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll get that done to the rest of the rooms here, guys. And I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys. I am back. And all the rooms are now done. Yay! So, uh, basically... The next thing we're going to want to do is I want to do something in this hallway because, I mean, it's, it's kind of a dull hallway, as you can see. So we're going to work on that. Let's put all this cobblestone away. And I think this is where I can work some spruce logs back in. So let's grab a bunch of these. Um, I'm thinking this will be plenty. And let's figure out how we want to space these out. Maybe what we'll do is we'll go like that. So we'll do them kind of in the middle right here. And then we'll go two there. And then count in two there. And do kind of the same thing. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And I think that will kind of give us the look that we're going for. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do nicely. All right. So, two and two. And then there won't be a pillar here at all. So that looks pretty good. I like it. We've got a nice little warehouse going here. And then... I don't know that I want to put any more lighting on these pillars. Um, and honestly, overall, I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out so far. I'll probably make some minor uh, tweaks and changes to it off camera. You know, some of that kind of stuff. A little bit here, a little bit there. Um, I do know that, that we need doors. So let's grab... I'm thinking we're just going to do kind of dark oak for the doors. I think that'll look best. So let's put some doors right here and then we'll just apply that nice dark oak texture to them like that and then same thing right over there there we go uh now the very very last thing that needs to be done is i need a way to dump quantities of stuff i need a way to basically dump stuff directly into the storage system because right now the only way I can put stuff in here is to either um, knock out this wall and access the chest that's back there or just to directly deposit it into the correct chest myself and that kind of defeats the purpose of an item sorting system so I'm thinking we'll put that maybe right about here so let's grab a tesseract and how do we want to do this? I think what we'll do is we'll put the Tesseract here, maybe. Like so. Make sure that's on send. Okay, good. And then we'll take some item ducts. Do I want normal item ducts? I think I do just because it'll look a little bit cooler. And uh, this chest is going to be one that... Th th this will be a section where we can actually do this. Although, actually, now that I'm looking at this, I think I want to change it up. I think I want to bury this down a bit farther so we can just put the chest, like, right down here. Uh, let's see. Let's think about this for a minute. So we'll put the chests... You know what we could do? There's a thought. We could bury the chests. 
we'll put the Tesseract right here. That's that will be fine. Um. Hmm. And actually, now that I'm kind of looking at this, we don't need to use the uh, transparent item ducts for all of it. We'd really only need them like right here. And even that we won't really need either. Because I'm going to put another block on top of this, like right here. Maybe, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. But let's take some normal item ducts just like this. Actually, I know exactly how we'll do it. We're going to go down one more. Uh, dirt. Go there. There. Tesseract in the middle. Ooh. Hello, thingy. So we'll put that there. And then here we'll run the item ducts up and over like that then we'll take some resonant servos which are basically item extractors we'll set them all to ignored so that it will pull out any type of item we'll put that right there and then we can put all of this stuff away and I'm thinking, actually, I'm kind of thinking these, these dirt blocks right back here need to be switched out for something else. Like maybe the spruce. I think the spruce will be fine. That should do the trick. And lastly, we'll take a couple of these reinforced iron chests and just put them on top like that. So that if I need to deposit stuff... I can just go ahead and put whatever I need to into the chest. And then it will disappear and be sucked into the item sorting system. Which is perfect. And then we'll take a sign. And we'll put it right here and say, uh, item deposits. So that is where the item deposits will go. Now, one thing I should probably mention real quick about these iron chests, they will open, even if there is a solid block on top of them. So that's pretty cool. Um, so don't worry. The chests will still open. It will all still work. But I think that's pretty much all that we have time for in this episode, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.